All right, let's get more on the story now from Jay Paul of Kuro. He joins us live from our Cape Town studio. Jay, before we get to the important stuff, there's no homework? Sounds like pure bliss to me. Tell me more. Yes, I think we, uh, we realized that parents actually end up having to spend so many hours after, hours, uh, after coming back from a long day of work to actually help their students, uh, their own children. And so we realized that you know, we need to actually have extended school days and uh, have the homework done during those school hours so that when the parents can go home with the children, they can actually just focus on building their own relationship with them, spending quality time with them, and where the kids can actually do other things that uh, actually interest them. Yeah, I wish you came up with this uh, 20 years ago, maybe. It would help me out. So now that that's out of the way, a coding <laughs> and robotics program. Tell us exactly how this curriculum works. Yeah. So we realized that in the, in the 20, but we need to actually develop the 21st century skills that kids need to have. And inclu included in that would be strong understanding of how coding works, how robotics work, especially as we go into the fourth industrial revolution. And we need to make sure that the kids are completely comfortable with the world that they're going to get into in, say, 10 years' time when they into the world of work. And hence, what we've done is we've included a strong coding and robotics curriculum as part of our normal subjects. We've embedded it into existing subjects. And we also have some Saturday programs that we are um, putting in place. So in that sense, what we're making sure is that the kids have sufficient, uh, actually, they have a significant exposure to it. And, um, and at the end of their um, schooling, um, schooling career, they'll actually be more than comfortable with the world in terms of how it's going to change. Now, I've been looking at research and articles on how the school works. It even says that qualified subject teachers in the workroom space are available to learners throughout the school day, which is a very long day, 8 to 5.30. When you say available, mm -hmm. does this mean that pupils can actually walk up to somebody and say, mm -hmm. we need more help on it? Yes, uh, I think first of all, what, how the school differs is that we realize that teachers need to spend more, of the, uh, more time with students on a one-on-one -on -one basis rather than teaching in front of a class and uh, where only about half of the class may actually be uh, participating or actually paying attention. So what we've done is we've first of all digitally, uh, cre we've created digital content which the kids would be going through and in a class, uh, class session. And then the, t the teacher is actually there playing the role of a consultant in it or a tutor. And actually th what that does is it frees up a lot more time for them to actually spend one-on-one -on -one time with the student and actually address specific issues that the children may actually have. And that's where we believe we actually will be adding a lot more value to the actual education experience. Yeah. Now, it sounds all very expensive. What are the costs involved? <laughs> So it's 1,900 rand a month per pupil. And um, what we also realized is that parents experience um, a lot of other financial hardships where typically when they put their kid through school, they have all sorts of other costs involved. Um, in, this, in this school, we've actually made it 1,900 and that's it. And it's, uh, there's no other additional costs involved. Yeah, now some would argue that people who are disadvantaged are obviously not going to afford to pay for something like this. Do you have mm -hmm. uh, maybe some sort of plan that will allow those who don't have the money to get into the school? Yes, I think Kuro has a well-established uh, uh, foundation that uh, works with us. It's called the Ruta Sashaba Foundation. We have uh, so a number of our top candidates actually get scholarships and uh, funding through that uh, foundation. And that's something that we encourage parents to apply for as well, uh, well in advance. And, um, in, and in the long term, we, we as a lead, at the leadership in Kuro, we also uh, do believe that we need to make uh, education more accessible. And we, we are looking at ways in which we can actually make it cheaper as well. Yeah. Now, are you looking for a specific type of pupil or can anyone enroll if they are interested in this? We believe that anyone can actually enroll uh, if they're interested. And I think one, what parents must also see is that, like, again, in 10 years' time, the world is going to be so much more different. And these are the kind of skills that everyone is going to need to have. They may not need to be excellent programmers, but they just need to be comfortable with understanding how IT works and be comfortable using the computer to do little nitty-gritty things. Um, and this is where I believe that the school actually provides a 
platform for um, that is uh, that is actually um, something that everyone should actually go for. But at the same time, um, yes, it is something that uh, perhaps those who are more technologically inclined would actually favour. All right. Thank you so much for your time and your insight. We appreciate it. That was Jay Paul of Kuro. No problem.